we're going to put some tiles in our uh, Suburbia Collector's Edition tile tray. So we're going to start with our reference guides. Then we're going to pick up our con tiles, put them up here in the matching symbol. And our Essen tiles, match that symbol right there. Then we're going to pick up our Collector's Edition City tiles and split them into two groups. You want to try to get them as even as possible so they'll fit nicely into that tray. Then we'll get our goals. We'll stick them into these two spots right here. And we'll start getting our base game A tiles. So that's just this deck right here. And we'll put them, try to divide them evenly into these three little stacks. And adjust to make it as even as possible. Then we'll grab our B tiles and do the same with those for the base game. All right, we've got one stack in. There's our second stack. And here's our third. We'll put the even amount just a bit. Now we'll get our C tiles, put them in our three stacks. I like to put these all face down so that you can know for sure which ones are A, B, and C when you can't see the uh, label at the very bottom. Then you take the uh, one more round tile and I like to place that one face up so you can find it more easily because the back of it will match a C tile. Then you take your five burrow boards and you just place them nice and e easily right here. They fit perfectly. Next we're going to take our scoreboard and the two pieces, and they'll fit right into there. There's a little indentation on the tray. It'll fit perfectly. Next, we have these two trays. We've already got most of the stuff loaded in there, including the $15 of starting cash, the investment tokens, and your player pieces. And we're going to start putting our community parks in, one for each player, and then the rest will go into this spot right here. And we'll put one suburb in for each player, those will be their starting tiles, and the remainder of them will go here. And then, of course, the heavy factories, one of these for each, tie, for each player, and the last of them will go right here. If you have more than five player sets, then you can put your extra pieces in any of these. If you got all of uh, the uh, super edition, then they'll all be filled. And we'll put the lids on, and we'll move on to the next tray, which is the market board. The market board's just got the uh, market information there. Then we put this tray on top, match up that thing in the bottom corner with the tile tower stand. And this uh, is Suburbia Ink, A tiles in this spot. Our B tiles for ink go next, and then our C tiles for ink. Next, we'll put our borders in right here. Those are the ink borders. And then our challenge tiles and our bonus tiles. These for, for after the A stack and B stack runs out respectively. Then since they're in a tower, we've got markers to let you know when uh, those stacks run out. And those are our, and our goals for ink. Next we've got our nightlife tiles. We've got uh, extra promo tiles in the nightlife section, which were added after these trays were designed. So our A and B stacks will be a little bit bulkier than we had originally planned for, but everything will still fit. So we put our A tiles in, then we got our B tiles, then our C tiles, and then we can just take two A tiles and they'll fit perfectly in the, on the C stack and everything will fit, still fit in here perfectly if you got the extra Kickstarter tiles. And if we get our challenges and bonuses and our goals for the nightlife expansion and we put them in here. We'll start with our borders for five star. Those will each have a star in the bottom right corner of them. Then we'll get our A tiles. We'll divide them into two stacks and we'll place them in the tray. Then we'll get our B tiles for five star. 
modify them into two stacks. And our C tiles for five star. Those are the last of our tiles. And then we need to get our star markers. So we put them in the bottom of this section right here. You want them to try to lay as flat as possible. And you want to put your goals on top. And you want your challenge and bonus tiles on top of that in the hexagonal spot. Then you can take your lid, stamp that on, you're all set. Take your tower and your first player marker. Stick the first player marker inside the tower and set the tower in this spot. Then you'll put your rule books on top of that. And if you got the super edition or if you have more than five, then you'll have this piece of foam and you'll put your extra burrow boards on top just like this.